Good morning. It's uh, July 14th, 2021. Uh, we had a beautiful thunderstorm this morning in uh, Surprise, Arizona. I think it moved across the uh, across the state here but a nice rain this morning around 5 a.m big cracks of thunder lots of lightning but some rain did come a lot of times we just get the lightning and no rain it made my artificial turf green right up in the backyard uh, anyways this video here today is for uh, chris she's moving to arizona full-time from colorado she sold her home up there and so chris uh, this is for you so this home, uh, again, you may remember, it came on just, just before the 4th of July weekend, and they had accepted an offer right away. I think it was an offer that they had already had in the works. It's a relocation company that people are getting a job relocated, and so uh, the relocation company is in charge of making the final decision as far as in regards to selling the house. It was built in uh, 2006. It's a 1,493 square feet, two bedrooms and a den, a nice fully fenced in uh, yard. The taxes on it are $2,297 for 2020. And the uh, quarterly HOA fee for Sun City Festival is $435 a quarter. And then you have a one-time capital improvement buy-in fee. That's for maintenance of the facilities, ongoing upkeep and improvements. Um, that fee is 0.0025% of the final sales price. So at list price, that capital improvement fee would be about $870. Again, that, that changes within Sun City Festival. That changes uh, with the final sales price, okay? Uh, beautiful community, Sun City Festival and Buckeye. To see the current listings, if you're on YouTube and you stumbled into this video, look directly below this video. And, and you'll see a link to all the listings within Sun City Festival. Again, my name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 plus communities. I specialize in representing buyers looking for homes in Arizona retirement communities, golf communities and resort style communities throughout the greater Phoenix metro area, about a 75 mile radius of Phoenix. So Chris, enjoy the video. Any questions? I, I hope this video clarifies and clears up a lot of the questions you may have. And I look forward to hearing from you here shortly. Take care. Have a great day. And again, if you've stumbled into this video, you're looking for a home in Arizona, please give me a call at 480-710-6326 or visit my website at www.justjarl.com. That's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com. Look forward to meeting you in person and I truly appreciate your business. Thank you. So Chris, here's the home that you inquired about out in Sun City Festival. We were gonna, you know, try something here a few weeks ago over the, uh, just before the July 4th weekend, and it went pending before we could do anything, and now it's back on the market. So I'm standing here on the outside of it. The, the front faces southeast, the back faces northwest, um, kind of right in the middle uh, in, of, of your southeast to northwest, okay? Um, it, home was built in 2006. I believe it's got an older heating and cooling system there on the side, but uh, a nice front here. I think it could use an exterior paint job here in the next couple of years. And that'd probably cost you a little less than $3,000, I think, based on the square footage. Nice backyard, it looks like, completely fenced in. Other than, you know, needing a paint job in the next few years, um, the house looks pretty good on the exterior. Home does have gas and uh, cable and uh, internet is all hooked up. 200 amp electrical panel and just to the right of the electrical panel is your irrigation for your trees and plants. It is a 2006 heating and cooling system. You know, they typically last 12 to 15 years. So that means it's right on the edge here. It costs you probably about $8,500 to replace that. I believe it's a three ton unit. Standing at the front door, looking out across the street, that's the main street that goes up to the clubhouse. You're fairly close to that. If I take a left going out of this little area of homes, that'd take me up where the craft area is. You're kind of right in the middle of those two. So you're not too far away from either one and you're fairly close. And then here's just looking across the street and down the street in the other direction here. So stepping just inside the front door, I believe you have an 18 inch tile in the main part of the house. 
This here for decoration is a 12 inch tile. And uh, immediately entering the front door, there's a den here to the right. You could easily put doors on it. Ceiling fan. That was the window to the right of the front door on the exterior. And then stepping uh, straight into the house, you've got uh, nine foot ceilings throughout it looks like. And uh, granite countertops. Got a built-in desk here to the left of the food pantry. That door just to the right of this built-in desk is, is the food pantry. So if I go left here, before entering the kitchen fully, looking down the hallway, to the left is a laundry room going towards the garage. Got a linen and coat closet just beyond that to the left. Straight ahead is the second bedroom. To the right, this first doorway is the guest bath. Here is the laundry. Looks like a decent washer and dryer. Cabinets above it. Door going straight into the garage. Here's your guest bathroom. Full tub and shower, detachable shower head. Here is your uh, guest bedroom. Again, and this window is mostly to the south. Again, they put some nice recessed can lighting. That would have been an upgrade at the time they built the house. Paint, carpet, floor, everything is nice and clean inside. Standing in that guest bedroom, that's your closet. Looking back out in to the hallway through the kitchen. This is that hallway closet. Again, kind of linen to the right and coat rack to the left. Plenty of storage. Looking into the garage here, you've got uh, up there to the left, you got your hot water heater. And just to the right of the hot water heater and to the left of those cabinets, you got a loop to put in a, a water softener. So it's all plumbed for it. You just have to put one in. And you can put in a decent water softener in that couple thousand dollar range. Uh, about half the homes have it, the other half don't. Um, they, they have an epoxy floor in here. I, I don't know what they had spill out onto it. Um, I don't know if this can be mopped off. It looks like it, it didn't make uh, the epoxy peel or bubble it doesn't look like it just affected the finish is what it looks like to me but other than that it's a pretty decent garage this is another view of that den and again you could easily put double doors on here if you wanted to standing just on the edge of the kitchen area and uh not sure what that entertainment center is. It's way different than anything I've seen. It's just sitting there, it's not built in. But uh, that's where your TV would go. And then that hallway there goes into the master bedroom towards the back of the house. And just getting another look of that uh, pantry and built-in desk. Looking back towards the front door, all Whirlpool stainless steel appliances. I believe they're probably original, they look nice. Microwave actually looks like it was replaced. Um, but it, it all looks really good shape. Kind of got a double oven there. It, it looks actually kind of dirty from, from uh, the outside of it here. You know, the carpet looks pretty good. Um, could probably use cleaning. Looks like it might need a little stretching in this room. Not bad though. Again, they cut in these uh, recessed can lighting in every bedroom, in every just about every room of the house. This is a king-size bed. And uh, again, just standing in that bay window of the uh, master bedroom, looking into the bathroom, they've got double doors on it here. And then there's the hallway going back, the doorway going back out into the main part of the house. Got nice uh, higher countertops. Probably not a big plus for you, <laughs> Chris. You're a little shorter like me. Uh, Corian countertops, double sinks. Uh, easily step-in shower there on the end. Private toilet room to the left and a walk-in closet. There just before the shower. For the size of the home, decent size walk-in closet and uh, 
more shelves over this direction. This is a decent toilet room, Chris. Very handicap accessible for future use for you. But extra wide doorway, extra space to work around the bathroom there. So really a decent setup here for you. Standing in the master bedroom closet here, looking back out into that vanity area. Got a medicine cabinet down to the end to the right of that last sink. Standing in the patio door, going out to your backyard here. And that's looking, again, mostly to the north. Um, actually, you know, a decent, uh, decent backyard, easy to maintain. Not a whole lot of bushes and shrubs here. Been getting some rain today. We had a nice thunderstorm this morning. That was a very nice to see. Made my artificial turf green right up. <laughs> standing in the uh, northwest corner of your backyard looking back towards the house again actually a really nice yard you could extend this patio do some fun landscaping back here got plenty of room if you ever decide to put in a pool standing in the northeast corner of the backyard and actually all in all a fairly nice home Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, my name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 Plus Communities. If you stumbled into this video looking for a home for yourself in Arizona, or if you're friends or family of the buyers, please visit my website at www.justjarl.com. That's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com. Or give me a call at 480-710-6326. All I do is specialize in selling homes in active adult retirement communities, golf communities, and resort-style communities throughout the greater Phoenix metro area. Uh, I truly appreciate your business. And uh, as a buyer's guys, I really enjoyed working with you. So uh, please uh, stay in touch and uh, take care in any way that I can help going forward. I'm not just your agent during the transaction. I'm your agent for the next 10 years. So any questions you may have or getting estimates on doing any remodeling, always give me a call and bounce it off me and I'll tell you what's customary and what's going on in the market right now. So stay in touch and uh, take care. Have a great day. Thank you.